a very rewarding experience I had uh, several years ago was a young couple uh, where uh, they'd recently been married and six weeks into their marriage she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Because she was referred to a fertility center we were able to uh, counsel her, uh, stimulate her, uh, her ovaries, retrieve some eggs, created embryos and cryopreserve them and uh, two years later they, they were able to take those embryos and place them into a, a gestational carrier. We only had three embryos to transfer and we transferred all three and, and, and she has uh, healthy triplets uh, to, to this day. But that was very rewarding. In addition to being able to freeze eggs, uh, the ability to freeze embryos has been in existence for uh, decades. Uh, but uh, the efficacy of embryo freezing is markedly improved as well. Uh, eggs and sperm and embryos can be cryopreserved indefinitely. Um, there's really no uh, designated limit uh, for this. Uh, generally speaking, uh, there have been pregnancies reported for uh, even over a decade uh, after some of these tissues have been cryopreserved. Um, realistically speaking, um, when, I, when we see a couple who does IVF and they have embryos frozen, 99% uh, of them will use those embryos within three to five years. 